Here we are again in Amarillo. I'm John Motormouth Luciano from Street Auto Group. So we've got something really fun today. You know my cohort over here, Flo. We've got Stephen Reichlin with us today. We're going to talk a little bit about his book, Project Smoke, his show, Project Smoke. So I'm kind of guessing it's all about smoke for you, right? It's all about smoke, yeah, because you know, all barbecue is smoke, but not all smoke foods are barbecue, right? Think of smoked salmon. Yeah. Think of smoked cheese. Think of even bacon. <laughs> That's not a barbecue. Yeah, you're right. So, uh, so the book is really about smoke in all of its uh, tasty splendor. That is awesome. In, in all kinds of different types of food, right? I mean, Absolutely. you could barbecue anything. Am I right? Well, you can smoke anything. Okay. Uh, I don't know that you can barbecue a cheesecake, but you can smoke a cheesecake. And you will actually find a smoked cheesecake that's why recipe he wrote the in book. Okay, so there's, there's our first one for today, Flo. you got to find a smoked cheesecake. That's why you so. didn't write the book. Yeah, that's why I didn't write the book. You're exactly right. So I think I'll stay in the car business. So we're in Amarillo, Texas, as you guys know, and we're, we're talking about the Panhandle PBS today, who we love and is dear to our heart, as you know. Yep. And it's awesome that your show is shown by them and take it. And now we talk about your book. There's mm-hmm. one here. So you're signing autographs today. And we're at Boyd's Equipment yep. right? on the Canyon. Anyway. Boyd's carries the books and also my best of barbecue cooking yeah. accessories. You can I'll, also I'll. find it at Hastings Bookstore and Barnes & Noble yeah. online at barbecuebible.com, which yeah. is my website. So why they available? Bar- barbecuebible.com. Yeah, B-A-R-B-E-C-U-A-B-I-B-L-E.com. That is awesome. Oh, yeah. that's, that's pretty good. Okay, there's another one. So we'll, we'll put that we'll website put down there. here below. We'll talk a little bit about that. Absolutely. So tell us, I mean, the, the main question that everybody's going to want to know, and, and mainly your biggest fan, you know, Laverne Davis. So Laverne, Laverne. we're asking your question. Hi, Laverne. So Laverne, we make sure we take care of that. So, and you're going to autograph her steak if that's okay. Yeah, you. we'll get that autograph. Okay, so, I, I mean, how did it all start? I mean, you didn't just wake up in Massachusetts one day and say, I think I'll smoke something? Or? No, actually, it's a very uh, funny... That bell means the steak's ready. we got a bunch of okay. cooking going on. So, yeah, drive up. Somebody at the drive through The fries are ready. Funny, <laughs> fun, funny and weird story. I actually have a degree in French literature, believe it or not. <laughs> and that led to... to nah, yeah, well, it did. How do you pronounce barbecue no, in French it's literature? A, it's, a, it, it's, it's a strange story, but it actually... I got I, I got a a grant after college to study medieval cooking in okay. Europe. Where was college? Uh, Reed College in Portland. Okay, Reed College. Okay, we always got to get those in there. Yep. And the mascot was? Uh, it was it a chicken a, wing or no, anything, it was, right? Uh, it was actually the griffin, a mythological <laughs> Greek, uh, <laughs> well, Greek, know, Greek it, it, head of an eagle. And, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of griffin. No, nah, that's <laughs> not a griffin. At any rate, but I think the important thing is about 20 years ago, I had this realization that people grill and smoke all over the world, but they do it differently in each country and culture. Right. So I set out to travel the world's barbecue trail document how grilling and barbecuing are done in each culture. The result of that was the Barbecue Bible, which became a runaway okay. bestseller. And Absolutely. That's We've got how, one of those here, right? That, yeah. yeah we got that, that here, too. That's how I, was in, how, how I got into barbecue. And how long ago was that? Well, 1994. I started the book, and uh, it was published in 1998, so... I'm coming up on my 20th anniversary. That is awesome. That's a lot of cooking. That's Well, it's cooking, is, it's teaching, it's TV shows, it's sure. travel. Yep. Is it's there... Is, and writing, of course. There. Is, is there a signature dish? Is there, I mean, like, is there a favorite? This is my well, favorite dish. Well, you know, in terms of dishes, they're all my children, they're all my favorites. But these uh, slam dunk beef ribs on the cover of the book, these are... Uh, Beef plate ribs that are smoked for about 10 hours. Oh, and I would have oh. and I would uh, have to say that, you know, if I had to pick my last meal, God forbid, <laughs> so, that's what I would want. So I'm guessing it, it's charcoal or wood over, over gas? Uh, no, actually, uh, well, you can smoke with all three of those fuels. Okay. Wood is essential for smoke. All right? you, if you can cook ribs over charcoal, but they will not taste smoky. Right. So you either build a bed of charcoal fire and then you add wood chips or chunks of logs or you build just a straight wood fire or you work in a gas smoker that burns wood chips. But wood is the key. I uh, but, spilled coffee all over John's desk last week. He was smoking. <laughs> you know, but that's a different, that was a different kind, of, kind of smoke. That's a different kind of fuel. So, I mean, just a quick question. Longer is better in most cases? Uh, Slower? Not necessarily. No? It depends okay. on you're smoking. So here we are in Texas, you know... Uh, this is the uh, epicenter of barbecued beef, <laughs> and that is generally the beef capital of the world right, right now. And that is generally cooked low and slow, uh, okay. meaning a low heat, you know, 250 degrees for brisket might take, you know, 12, 14, 16 hours. Oh, wow. yeah. Okay, but uh, in Project Smoke, there are a lot of dishes that don't require that much cooking. In okay. fact, in the new show, which starts airing this weekend awesome. on. 
let's see, Panhandle PBS. Panhandle PBS, right. that's right. That's One of the shows is called Smoke in a Hurry, and it's all about dishes that you can smoke in 10 minutes or less. Wow. Yeah. And yeah. still get that smoke flavor. And still get a great And not artificially, flavor. not by pouring no, 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 some no. silly looking one, smoke one or something. Secret, on one secret is to smoke with hay instead of wood. That's a very oh, quick smoking wow. method. Okay. Uh, another, I've got a recipe for uh, smoked ice cream that I demonstrate. you got to smoke that fast before it melts. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sounds good, though. I, I'm still thinking amazing. about the smoked cheesecake. Yeah, it's that amazing. sounded awfully tonight, good. By the way. Yeah. It is? Uh-huh. Smoked okay. cheesecake is what they told me. Yeah. Yeah. That will be awesome. Yeah. So, These recipes are inspired. Uh, right? Mm-hmm. So if you get the chance, you need to come down to Boyd's Equipment and see your utensils and different things that you sure. sell. You can also get the book. He also has this amazing line. Gosh, I mean, he's got some of the coolest grills I've ever seen. Yeah, this is, uh, and, this is a great which collection. Way you wanna, which way you want to grill. It looks like he's got gas. He's got, you know... Gas, charcoal, he has got- charcoal, Kamados, pellet, uh, pellet smokers. Yeah, this is, uh, this is the kind of place where you feel like, you know, if you're into grilling and smoking, you died and went to heaven. Here. Yeah, beautiful job. Boy I mean, told me location. this was not a back scratcher, so I found out. Yeah, <laughs> was that when he told you to take it out of your yeah, shirt? Yeah, yeah, well, that's a very good thing. <laughs> okay, so Miami is kind of where the mail goes, you Ma- told me? Miami's where the mail goes. But you're yeah. on the road so oh, much. I'm oh, on the road yeah. about four months a year. Yeah. 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 Well, that's good. Well, we're really glad that you made it. If you've been to Amarillo before, I understand. I have, and uh, yeah, so this was a check-in trip. Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. And from here on to? Tomorrow is Austin okay. with uh, Aaron Franklin, the... Uh, the, the famous Franklin's Barbecue, ma- right? Major heavyweight in barbecue Oh, here. my gosh, you bet. And then... Uh, People wait in four or five hours. My wife yeah. and, and the kids from Young Life, they've waited four or five hours yeah, in that line. Yeah, I know. You know, it just makes you wonder, amazing. does anybody in Austin ever work? It seems like all ever, anybody in Austin does is wait Keep it weird. Barbecue. You know, they got their T-shirts. You'll see plenty <laughs> of that, so... And then uh, we... Uh, then I head up to Toronto... Wow, that's quite a jump from Austin to Toronto. Hopefully you're going to fly, right? I am. Okay, that's that's a good thing. And you eat the barbecue chips on the plane? Uh, I do not eat on the plane. (laughs) Don't eat on the plane at all? No, I draw draw the line on that. (laughs) Well, Well, Stephen, this has been awesome. This This is great that you would take the time to talk to us. We'll get out there and we're going to get a signed book. Laverne, right? Laverne Davis. Okay, Laverne, I'm watching you. Yeah. Thanks. And she's watching you, so she is your big fan. So. So from Street Auto Group, from Street Volkswagen and Street Toyota. So we want to thank Stephen and, and the people at Boyd's. And you really got to come see this. This is a great, wonderful store. Just another hidden treasure in uh, Amarillo, Texas. So. so here it is. So it's Memorial Weekend coming up and everybody's going to be barbecuing. So two things you're going to need. You got to get to Boyd's, get your barbecue equipment, and you got to have this book. And Stephen will tell you exactly the best way to do the best barbecue, right? That's right. We yeah. talked about it a minute ago and we're talking about it more. Yeah. Project Smoke, everything from the gorgeous monster beef ribs Look at on those the ribs. cover of the book to pork shoulders, smoked fish, smoked vegetables, even smoked ice cream for dessert. That's it. Smoked awesome. cheesecake. We're going to try that tonight. Smoked cheesecake. Smoked okay. cheesecake. Yep. So, Boyd's and Amarillo on the Canyon E-Way. So come see us. Come see us. Thanks to PBS for being a part of this. And Stephen, thanks for coming to Amarillo. All right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.